Hi, I'm Ian and welcome to the Historic Nerd. A look at gaming and modern film with a historic twist. Today's episode is about death rays. In the 1920s and 1930s, the idea of a death ray was extremely popular. The notion of a weapon being able to destroy an enemy aircraft hundreds of miles away, safely inside your own territory, was romanticized in the popular fiction of the era. Inventors of the time relentlessly pursued the idea of inventing this weapon. The first death ray was invented by Edwin R. Scott who claimed he had created a weapon capable of destroying enemy aircraft and eliminating human life at a great distance. Although he buried the weapon, stating he was protecting humanity from what he had created. The second death ray was claimed to have been invented by Harry Grindel Matthews who attempted to sell his weapon to the British Air Ministry, although his weapon was never actually functional in any of his tests. Even Nikola Tesla had claimed to have death ray, although his death ray might have been in response to Antonio Langoria's, which was said to have killed pigeons up to four miles away. Nikola Tesla, towards the end of his life, was in love with a talking pigeon. So his recreation of the Teleforce device his death ray might have been an attempt to prevent the killing of pigeons in the future by Antonio Langoria, but no mention of this feud is really recorded, so I don't know. But in all of this, none of these weapons have actually been confirmed to exist. But during the Second World War, the Japanese actually did create a weapon that was capable of killing things with rays, hence a death ray. It was called the Kugo weapon, under the Japanese Project Z. The Japanese death ray, however, had one fatal flaw. Japan during the Second World War wasn't at war with bunnies. The weapon showed extreme promise in dealing with furry adversaries, but as far as dealing with full-blown American soldiers, the weapon seriously fumbled. Where? Well, what, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit. So the Japanese death ray did work. It actually worked at a thousand yards, but it required the target to stand still for about five minutes. And it wasn't effective against anything larger than a bunny. That rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide! It's a killer! Get the weapon worked by focusing microwaves out of a magnetron that could generate a hundred kilowatts continuously. The Kugo was a massive failure. Something that had been hoped to be something like this. was in fact just a giant drain on resources that didn't help Japan out at all. Unfortunately, due to the Japanese government destroying their documents at the end of the conflict, a lot of the information about Project Z and the Kugo have been lost to time. 